So for behavioral traits that I study, um, uh, like intelligence, six months ago, we were able to explain 1% of the variance. We can now explain 5% of the variance. With educational achievement, though, we can explain 10% of the variance. So that means you take these tests, and in England we have these tests called GCSE, which all children at the age of 16, at the end of compulsory schooling, have to take national exams. We can explain 10% of the variance on that. Now, that's, we just got started, and we can explain 10% of the variance. It's about 60% heritable, so we've got a long way to go. But with 10%, what it means is if you take the top fifth of, in terms of these genetic scores, we call polygenic scores, the kids who are in the top fifth are 65% likely to go to university. The kids in the bottom fifth are 35% likely to go. So even with only explaining 10% of the variance, that's a pretty big difference in terms of predicting at the high and low extreme.